Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to 22 degrees of Point Beach State Forest just outside of Two Rivers, Wisconsin. I decided that before I start hunting this this afternoon we're going to talk about one of the, I suppose you could call them laws that I gave myself, um, the law of no excuses. So everybody when you wake up you start out and you have a choice to become a slave to the things that bind you. Um, some people push a needle in their arm. Some people pop pills. Some people overly eat a massive amount of breakfast. Um, some people do absolutely decide that they're not even going to leave their house or do anything that day. Um, <clears throat> Everybody is a slave to something, myself included. So um, maybe rewind to about a month ago maybe two, I woke up with some really bad chest pains and I was actually freaked out, went to the doctor. Well, I found out that my heart was okay, but you know, being a desk jockey for the last nine years of my life has really taken a toll on my health. You know, definitely not got the strongest heart in the world, definitely don't have the strongest body in the world. And up to that point, I could probably given you a million excuses why I didn't exercise, you know, why I didn't take a 30 minute walk, why I didn't eat healthier, why I didn't do this. You know, I had an excuse for everything, but the only person I was really lying to is my own damn self. So I, you know, I bought a treadmill a year ago and I was going to use that and I made excuses why I couldn't use it. I don't feel good today. My leg hurts my ass itches, whatever it is, um, I always had an excuse. So I'd, you know, I'd hit it apart at first and then I quickly fell off. And I realized that I was suffering from excuses, really, at the end of the day. Every day we choose who we're going to be. And the only person that can really tell us we're not that person is our own selves. So now, I've learned that I don't have an excuse. Um, today I wasn't going to come out to the woods because it's 20 degrees out. It's fucking cold. And there's three days left of deer hunting. But, you know, if I would have not come out here, it would have just been my own damn fault. And it's not the weather's fault. It's not because it's cold. It's because I just didn't want to get up off my ass and come out here. And I think that's the part that people don't realize is that you're only as strong as you allow yourself to be. You know, I'm not saying that addiction is anything to fuck around with, but you still ultimately have that choice to say, today I've had enough. Today I'm not going to make any excuses. Today I'm going to execute. I'm going to start. I'm going to make a change. And, you know, you're not going to do that every day. And People that say that failure is not acceptable or failure is bad are incredibly wrong. Failure is perfectly fine. We're imperfect beings. We're born to fail at times. The part where you actually do bad is when you mitigate failure by saying, well, it's because it's cold out or it's, you know, I'm going to do it tomorrow or anything like that. No, you're not going to. You fucking failed today. And the way that you get better is you admit that I failed. And the next day you try to do better. That is how it works. Um, you don't fail because you fail. You fail because you make a fucking excuse. So as long as you don't do those things, you know, you accept that some days you're not going to win. And you take that loss for that day. You understand that you took that loss because you made that choice to take that loss. And you say, tomorrow I'm going to work harder. That really is the law of no excuses in itself it's, and since I've started to live by that there have been a lot less times that I miss that treadmill I've been trying to eat better I come out to this woods today because I'm not going to make excuses for myself I'm going to sit out here until close today freezing my ass off maybe not even see a fucking thing but I'll be out here getting this fresh air. I got this exercise coming out to the spot where I'm at right now. And I'm going to feel better because I did that. So think about that. Um, 
would definitely be interested in anyone's thoughts on this video. So if you'd like to, please leave a comment and I guarantee I will answer all of the comments that come into this video and I hope you like it. Um, I do have some more videos that I'm going to do before the end of deer hunting season on Sunday. Um, one of them I feel I need to do is how to deal with the loss of a child is something that I personally can talk about because my son did pass away in uh, April of 2020 at the age of 20 years old. Um, not even not even to his 21st birthday. So um, it's going to be a really difficult video for me to make. But I think that I need to do that because right now as I'm sitting here, there's probably people that are just experiencing that journey that I started a year ago. And they have no idea where to go next. And, you know, I can't say that I can cure that because there is no cure for that kind of pain. But I guess I can guide people to what to expect. And, you know, some of the things that I've found have worked for me to, you know, at least live through it, survive through it. So um, I hope you guys like these these in the woods videos. I hope that they get views and I hope that they're helpful. Uh, more importantly, as I've stated from the beginning, I'm not in this for any kind of clout or anything like that. I just wanna speak my mind, um, leave some memories for my family for when I'm gone and uh, you know, help people out, help people laugh, help people with life. And let's hope we accomplish that. All right, thank you everyone for watching.